yesterday, uh, I think three days ago, uh, before she comes, I have this question, uh, which uh, you said um, uh, if we have some problems with the, um, the other one, we can switch on. Like you are talking about the IDT, the uh -huh. web intelli intelligence, which client, and then the BI launch part. Uh, what are the differences? And uh -huh. uh, yes. Uh -huh. And what do they do? Do we use all for uh, the universe and for reporting? Yeah, information design tool, IDT, is the creation of, uh, is a tool which we use for creation of universe. E-fashion is, re we are consuming that, I mean, uh, it is a one of the data source to create reports. Uh, now in our web intelligence uh, examples, activities, we are consuming E-fashion universe, right? So it is also created in information design tool by someone for training purpose. So likewise, we can create our own universe based on the business requirement or project requirement using information design tool. That is about IDT or information design tool, which we use to create universe, which is in your version of universe design tool. So that is about IDT. And when we come to BI launch pad, it is like a repository which is which we use to create the reports and store the reports as a place to store the reports or users like personal folders public folders you could see you could see right you you have created your own folder and we can create our own reports and save them that is a bi launch pad it is like a we use we access launch pad through server that is through web server like a web url we use we give username password and our authentication details, and we can consume online. For that, we don't need to install anything. But for information design tool, we have to install information design tool in our system. As we are using remote desktop here, it is already installed. But if uh, in our project, we might need to require to install that. So that is a part of, uh, let me show you. Uh, so in your project, they'll give you the uh, path for, sometimes they will give you this path for this folder, SAP Business Intelligence, and mm -hmm. they will uh, give you the access for this and you will download this and then you will install. At the time of installing, it will ask which tools you want. If you see here, BI4 client, if you give this folder, these are all the tools of under this. So, but we don't use all this in our project. Based on our requirement, we have to, check on information design tool, web intelligence rich client or UDT. So whatever we need, we will check those options and then we will install. These are tools which we install. But for this launch pad, we don't need any tool to install. Rather, we use this URL. We can use this URL and we can give the, our uh, username and credentials and we can log in if those username and credential is already created. Uh, in this BI Launchpad uh, by admin. So mm -hmm. this is about uh, using it through Launchpad. Sometimes just in our, uh, mostly in our projects, we will use this uh, through uh, URL only, Launchpad only. But the same functionality for web intelligence, it is a con it consists of all these tools, right? But for web intelligence, we have one more standalone tool that is a web intelligence rich client. Mm -hmm. Even okay. you can create web reports using this tool or this browser. So what I told you is if you have any issues connecting to this universes and creating two reports in this launch pad, you mm -hmm. can try accessing using this tool and give the same system name, username, password once, and you can create the reports there itself. And you can save to enterprise if you create something there. And if you are saving to enterprise, those reports will be stored here only. If you are storing in your favorites or in folders, those reports will be stored here only. You can consume this from the launch pad also. So if there is any connectivity issue or drivers issue, you can switch to any of this. Like you can use web intelligence in this BI launch pad or web rich client because as we have two options in our remote desktop, we can use anything. That is what okay. I told. Is it clear right. now? Yes, clear. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Mm -hmm. Did you try yesterday creating something? Yes. Um, yesterday I tried. Uh, I, I I followed. Um, yes, I did to. I did the 
I, I, I started, uh, what do you call it, the project. I did a uh, connect, uh, connection, um, and then I did a data foundation, and good, I went good. on to do the business uh, layer. Um, okay. Yes. Uh, and uh, I, uh, for your practice purpose, I'll tell you one more thing. Like <laughs> you can create your own, and if you want to just to understand something also, you can use already created universes, and you can see how they did what are the formulas just for our analysis purpose you can uh, practice them i mean you can check them you might not able to export them and use in our reporting but you can see the underlying uh, technical things there uh, you see here i just connected and this is the repository mm -hmm. that we use if you see here these are the connections is they some are connected to hana if you see, these are all the list of connections that are there in the repository. So if you just want to check how they did, what are the parameters, or if you just want to see, these are the some system username and password. So you don't edit, but you can see like how okay. they can create it. This is about connection. And these are the list of universes already there. So if you want to see the eFashion universe, don't edit and save, but you can just uh, 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 you can retrieve this universe in your fa folders. Just mm -hmm. right click on this universe, retrieve universe to your uh, some sample project. I just uh, mentioned here in this BO de demo, just for your learning purpose. So if you oh, see okay. here, I imported under this BO demo. Now we got this. See the date. This is today's date, 21st 8. So we just imported and we can see this connection, data foundation business layer which are used for creation of this universe so if you double click on each of one of that e fashion dfx you can see like what mm -hmm. are all the tables how they join if you double click on this join you can see what is the formula likewise if you don't really create also you can just see all these things blx if you see uh, this is a data foundation layer blx is a business layer so as yeah. you have imported the already created well-versed universe, you can always uh, expand this and see this formulas. And if you have any doubt, if you see here this formula, they mentioned aggregate away. So you might not able to understand what it is. So what you can do is you can Google it. Uh, what is at the rate aggregate aware in a web intelligence or universe? There they will clearly explain what it is, what is the priority of it, if you see this uh, function has some uh, definition in it, some logic in it. So this uh, year itself is coming from multiple tables. So one is uh, aggregated at year level, one is aggregated at quarter level, but the last one is normal table, which we are getting from uh, our database. It is not aggregated, it is a simple table. So based on the priority, it will first, if we, can, if we dragged any year object and the sales revenue it will consume from this year otherwise if you drag the quarter it will take from this year so if you google it also you will understand better so if you want to see these formulas how they created store state every for everything they have uh, used aggregated tables it is not required every time but you can just check what is it this aggregated uh, in most of the universe i mean interviews uh, we will be asked about this question what is aggregate awareness how can we use it? What is the purpose of it like this? So mm. promotion Y and this object is created with this formula. So promotion flag. So is it S or no? Are we using this object product for promotion or not? So that is coming from promotion lookup table. This is a table name and this is an object name. So in that way, you can do, you can do some research. You can understand exactly what it is going on. And if you have mm -hmm. any doubts with the formulas being used, you can Google and learn. It is always, uh, it's like a, uh, in the training, we give all basic things and uh, what is fundamental things. But based on practice and research and studying, we'll know more uh, topics in detail. So mm -hmm. it is about this. Like if you want to see anything in detail, you can import them and see, double click on, uh, whenever I double click on CNS, it is showing about CNS detail. If I click on DFX, it is showing, if you see it is highlighted, eFashion.dfx and data foundation is being visible here. 
and mm -hmm. uh, e fashion at blx this is a business layer which we use to create our objects dimensions and key figures measures so this is about uh, this is in this way e fashion is created and we are consuming this same e fashion in our web intelligence report so that if you remember these are the folders that we are seeing in our reporting layer these are the objects which we are using for our reporting purpose so now i think uh, you got some clear picture okay thank you advanced report writing uh, here we will uh, see concepts about how we can create uh, logical groupings of data using the I if function how we can change the calculation behavior of measure using the if function how we can apply custom sorts how we can perform filtering using ranking this if function is like uh, it is used for logical grouping if function can be used to obtain data which does not exist physically anywhere in the database you can generate half yearly report from available quarters that means if you have only quarters quarter related information but still you can create a generate a half yearly report from available quarters that means uh, if there is if it is not available from the database also we can create our own uh, uh, of dimensions and our own grouping from reporting side and we can consume that in uh, our reporting uh, for example if object name in list value one value two value then new group you can do we can do like that so i'll show you with examples it is also can be used to change the calculation behavior a report designer can use this feature to decide how a measure should behave based on different condition like if object name is something is equal to this one then display value to display if true uh, display like this otherwise if it is a false display in otherwise so <clears throat> that is about if function like uh, if uh, uh, for example what we can do uh, here is if quarter for a half yearly data as we discussed h1 h2 maybe half year first year, half year first part of the half year and second part of the half year but we only have a quarterly related data so what we can do is if quarter in list q1 comma q2 then h1 otherwise h2 so in that way we can write a formula which is not directly available from the database but we can create our own formula using if and we can group ranking is like it allows to look at the largest numbers and our smallest numbers in a report like filtering ranking hides the data you do not want to display like if you only want to uh, uh, show uh, see top 10 uh, regions or bottom 10 regions it, in those uh, top 10 states or bottom 10 states in those scenarios we don't need to uh, show the data for all the states instead we can apply ranking like we uh, do the filtering so top 10 will be appeared in the report so ranking is applied on measures for example sales revenue quantity sold or margin top 10 means top 10 sold products or top 10 um, searched products like that we can uh, it is applied on measures not on the dimensions so it is an example ranking can be performed on data contained in tables cross tabs or master cells in a master detailed report this is the ranking window that we can see top or bottom and how many do we want top three top five top ten or bottom or bottom ten bottom five based on sales revenue ranked by state on which dimension perspective we are seeing and what is the value that we are checking for the top so this is a ranking window that appears when we are trying to perform ranking in web intelligence 